Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Fort Bliss. I know I already made a video just about some of my thoughts and my tips. Well, today I just wanted to share some places, recommendations, because a lot of things in El Paso are just not advertised, I would say. So number one on my list, well, not really a list, just the number one place I would recommend is, it's gonna be a food place first off. So being Hispanic and being from Arizona, of course Mexican food is different on like the border in general. I've been to California, I've been Arizona, I've been Texas, New Mexico, Mexican foods are just different everywhere. But this one place in El Paso is just amazing. And if you haven't been there, like get in your car and go right now. But it's called Rivas Taco Shop. It's on the far east side of El Paso and it's off of Zaragoza and George Dieter. It is just, it's extraordinary. So in Arizona, um, it's uh, there's a lot of fast food Mexican restaurants like El Potosino, Los Petos, Filibertos, like, just, that's just common there and I wouldn't say like Rivas is like a fast food but because they have a drive through they also have a dining room but it is fast like it's just it's amazing but my go-to so just a forewarning like I am a vegetarian so what I get I get the carne asada fries but of course no meat and I add pico and then I get a large horchata that's what I get every single time we started going there, they've been open for three years. We started going there because they actually opened up the month we got married. So we um, started going, we found the place like a few weeks after we got married and we've been going ever since and we actually, that was the last place we ate before we flew out. So favorite place, Rivas Taco Shop. Another place I would recommend, which is like, kind of like a dining area, I guess, is it's gonna be on Las Cruces. So Las Cruces from um, El Paso, depending on where you live, we lived on the northeast side. So Las Cruces was about 45 minutes, depending who drove, of course. Um, and it was St. Clair's Winery, so that's the place. So St. Clair's Winery, and I'm gonna butcher the name, but Masia Valley, that's where it's in. There's a lot of wineries, but that one is my favorite so much. And um, I actually went with one of the other spouses I made a friend with, like she's a really good friend, but I went with her originally and then uh, we kind of went like winery hopping, but that was like, I just fell in love with it. And my favorite wine and like my go-to one is Malvasia Blanca. Please get it. <laughs> um, and my husband is not a big wine drinker, but when he came back from his previous deployment, his last deployment, he came home in August and we made like a bucket list of everything we're gonna do when he comes home and he's never been to a winery so that was on the list and i took him and that was the first wine he actually liked because if not a wine drinker non-wine drinkers automatically assume like all oh, wine is bitter and dry and nasty they don't know that there's different like there's a whole spectrum of wine so i kind of even introduced him to it and malvasio blanc is actually his favorite right now too and whew, it's delicious and fun fact is like they just started selling saint Clair's wines at the commissary on fort bliss while well, the exchange and they also started selling it at albertson's so if you shop at albertson's in el paso or go get you some wine i know they do like um they do deals where you buy like two it's 30 percent off at albertson's but don't quote me so st Clair's winery please go check it out um oh another food place i would highly recommend um <laughs> we are a frozen yogurt family we love frozen yogurt that is our thing and Menchie's frozen yogurt in El Paso is just amazing. So me and my husband usually get our own cups and then get all of our toppings and we're fatties. So usually it comes out to like 16, 70 dollars, 16 to 17, because we load up on everything. Or um, the last few months we were in Texas, um, he would get a soft serve and I would get like the quart and just fill it up and it would last me like a few days because he would eat it with me. But it's amazing. The one flavor I would highly recommend from Menchie's frozen yogurt is watermelon. It's freaking delicious. Whew, I miss it. Um, and if you want to do like, excuse me, like a little day trip, um, go to I'll go out to Caballo Lake. It's in New Mexico. 
Um, even if you're not like a fisher or a kayaker or outdoorsy at all, go get yourself some cheap fishing reels and go like, you can get like a $10 one that has like a little pack with it of like bobbers and lines and jigs. And a, a fun fact for you too is, um, I forgot if it is Texas or New Mexico, but one of the states, the licenses, the fishing and hunting license is free for military. So definitely, definitely look into it. And now on to my favorite thing that we discovered, I wanna say late 2016, like almost 2017 when we were there is um, Rhinos, El Paso Rhinos hockey. So my husband is a diehard hockey fan, which he claims he is, but I'll get into that in a second. He's more of a soccer fan now, but he's a, he's, you know, it's kind of like one of those things I'll just hit on it now. It's one of those things where like, he was raised with those sports and those teams. So he likes it, I don't know. But you know, he's a, he's a Pittsburgh Penguins fan, we're a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. I, I feel like I follow it more than he does just cause he's always working and he doesn't got time. But anywho, so if you wanna do something fun with your family, with your kids, El Paso Rhinos, they're not bad, they're not great. Like the last, the last few games we went to before we left, I was like, what the hell's going on? But then last season, they were like killing it. They were great, they were extraordinary. We saw like some crazy fights, like it was just cool. <laughs> and if you haven't been to a hockey game before, go. Like I live for those fights. Um, the Coliseum, the hockey games for both UTEP, the, which is of course the university there, and El Paso Rhinos, military gets in free. So whether that be with your CAC or if you're a dependent, you have you can use your, um, let's just say military duties. So they do, they do, uh, they're very military friendly, you do get it for free. And they also like once a year, they do, I'm gonna butcher it, but puck for, or chuck a puck for a truck, so puck a chuck, or puck a chuck for a truck. <laughs> so once a year for military, when you're coming in through the doors, they pass out blue tickets. And then of course, during like the, um, the halftime intermission or whatever, they pick a ticket. And then the second break, they, uh, cause there's two breaks. So the second break, they'll uh, um, uh, call you up and you have to shoot from the middle, middle of the ice rink up to the other side. And it's like, you have like a foot. You have to make the, make the puck go in that like little foot window and you win a truck. So me and my, I was lucky. My husband says it was his ticket, but it wasn't, but we all know men. <laughs> but um, my ticket got called and I was super excited and like, oh my gosh. And so we, I quickly ran down, but like my husband was leaving and like, you know, two, two, like two and a half weeks before he left on deployment. And he's more of a hockey, more of a hockey fan than I am. So I told him to go um, basically shoot it. <laughs> And he, he missed, like, he says he missed by like this much, but just saying like, we all know men, they like, they lie about their stories. No, he missed like that much, <laughs> like, but he was just so excited. He looked like a little kid. It was super fun. And then we got to take pictures with the rhino mascot. It was crazy. Definitely recommend that. Go check out some hockey games. It's cool. Um, another thing I would recommend, well, it just, it depends. Like if you're from a big place, like Tucson has a pretty big zoo. So the Tucson Zoo compared to the El Paso Zoo was like, the El Paso Zoo was like this, like the Tucson Zoo was like this. So, but the El Paso Zoo is, is definitely something to go check out. Like I, I liked it. I love zoos in general. So that was just me. I, I don't know, I just had a blast. Like I went with my husband a few times and then when my uh, when I was lucky enough to go down and get my niece for a week, well, two weeks, uh, I took her to the zoo. So it's just, extraordinary um they do have a tramway the wheeler tramway which it's a hit or miss we were there for a little over three years and like we went up there i think once because every time we would try to go it was either construction too windy the weather it was down or there's always something or it's a, a holiday so it's closed so it was always something but you have to get it on a good day and even if you try calling their number to like hey are you open today nine times out of ten they did not answer so <laughs> good luck with that um another thing that i would definitely like to recommend is um uh there's a place on post it's by the thrift shop so if you if you're new so of course there's a p the freedom crossing the commissary across from freedom crossing there is the post office and then there's a museum and a thrift shop and in that little area that little big old cul-de-sac 
that little exchange, the plaza, I would say, is um, there's a place called um, Operation Deploy Your Dress. So that's something that I just, I use that um, for the last two years because I didn't know about it. So Operation Deploy Your Dress, it's ran by spouses for, for spouses and family members. So of course we all know um, wedding dresses are expensive, formal dresses, homecoming prom, ball dresses, like dine-ins, like formal attire is expensive. So it's all donated attire, which is of course gonna be heels, pumps, um, flats, dresses, shawls, suits, tires, like um, ties, sorry, tires. Um, it's all donated tire, attire from uh, companies, from other spouses, retired, you know, retired veterans. It's just all stuff that's donated and it actually started out, and a spouse started it, so it's actually pretty cool. But I definitely go check it out. Um, I do know you're allotted, like, um, if you're a female or a girl, you're allotted one dress and accessory per calendar year. And if you're a male or man, you're one, I, I think it's one suit, one pair of shoes per year. But it's definitely something to check out, especially if you have kids, because I know growing up with three sisters, like, and I'll, not close, but we were like basically four years apart. So my mom kind of got lucky with the division of like prom and homecomings, but I know it's expensive. So definitely check it out. They do have a lot of nice attire. And little fun fact, when my husband and I renewed our vows before his, before his deployment, I actually got my wedding dress that I wore to um, from there, from Operation Flare Dress. So that's definitely something I would recommend and check out. And another thing I would definitely recommend or a place is, um, it's called Hair Trends. It's across the street from uh, the Bassett Mall. And if you know, there's the Bassett Mall, there's Petco, and then across the street is, um, there's Taco Bell, and behind Taco Bell is um, Hair Trends. I love this hair salon. It took me a long time to find it. <laughs> um, and I was very sad to leave. So having curly hair, it's, it's just a hit or miss. Some people say they know how to cut it, but then when they cut it, they mess it up. So I've had a lot of struggles with my hair in El Paso. You know, I've had people dye my hair. Cause I, I started out three years ago, I went completely like virginized my hair. So when I started wanting to do highlights again, this, this lady completely ruined my hair and it was just terrible. But I found hair trends this past August or this past July from one of the spouses that I met and haven't turned back since. I love that salon, go check it out. It's hair trends, like, whew, I miss my hair lady. So her name in my phone is her first name and then hair goddess. So her name's Cruz, so it's Cruz the hair goddess. Like, oh my goodness, love it. And then my husband, I told my husband like, look at your haircut there, like they're amazing, but he's a man, he didn't want to go to a salon. But he started going there about two months before he came to Germany and like he fell, he fell in love with the lady who cut his hair. Like, oh my goodness. And a lot of people, like barbers don't wash guys' hair and a lot of like um, corporate chains, they don't wash hair anymore. You have to ask or pay for it, it's extra. And it's just, there's a lot of crazy things now. <laughs> but they like, they wash your hair, they massage it, they take time to like understand you and see what you want. If you're happy with it, I love it. So definitely check out that place if you need a fix for your hair. And I've actually recommended like three of my friends there and they all love it. So that's definitely a place. Another place that I would highly recommend if you want to a little, challenge yourself a little bit is um, if you have kids, take your shoulder with you. If you have dogs, go take your dogs, but go run or go walk, whatever your, whatever your physical limit is. Go do McCalligan, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right, <laughs> McCalligan, um, go run the canyon. It's right up behind William Bowman Hospital. You can't miss it, it's a great exercise. And it's beautiful at sunset, like I love it. So definitely go do that, highly recommend it. There's just, there's, there's an overwhelming, there's so many things I would recommend you guys to do, but it's one of those things where you need to go out and go on adventures for yourself, like go see what there is and have adventures, be fun. And don't do the whole like, oh, well, what if there's a language barrier? There's definitely no language barrier there because everybody assumes that. But as always, that is it. 
my people so stay happy stay healthy and let me just show you my baby girl because she's i think dogs in general sleep weird but for some reason like she sleeps like i don't know if you can see her not like at an angle she's just awkward but it's okay and then the normal child he's on the couch which he's not supposed to be but anyways you guys stay happy stay healthy i love you all Can I go up? Come on. Come on, buddy. Woo! <laughs>